Yo, yeah, peeps, how's it going? And welcome to, uh, well, you know, uh, my, um, this map that I actually made. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's a map that I made. Just, just tell you. Okay, yeah, so right now we're in the tutorial version. Oh, and the name of this, and the, tu the tutorial version, not, not tutorial. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, uh, so, so we're, right now we're in the tutorial, um, which basically has science to tell you about everything. So this game is called Dorp's Adventure, and um, uh, and uh, to be honest, it's not the best map ever. Okay, honestly, I didn't really work that well. I, I mean, I mean, it did take me a few months to create, though. So yeah, yeah. Okay, so on this, this is a gear bin. It has gear in it. So yeah, gives you yeah. So these are some stuff that you get first. Let's see what. Okay, and this isn't in 1.9, so yeah. I have this thing that says, please don't, ta please don't take off. Um, so yeah. yeah. It's actually been a very long time since I've actually made this map, so yeah. So let's read the signs. Sorry that the Derblantian heads, heads look like my player head. Um, uh, this is the Derblantian spawn point. Yeah. yeah. This is my house. <coughs> And it has a weird, and, um, uh, it has a weapon that's better than the double hoe, the weirdly shaped hoe. Okay. And it actually has quite a bit of good stuff if you, uh, if you feel like, uh, going in here. Okay? It's, uh, oh, it's a spare pair of pants and shoots, which are, uh, boots and shoes mix, and the Durplantian hour chest plate. So, yeah. <laughs> That on, and there we go. I have a bit better armor. Um, and we have the fishing chop, aka the t tutorial shack. Now you'll notice that everything in, in Dorp's town is is isn't really uh, spelled that well. Okay, mainly because this is a city of extremely stupid creatures. Okay, and um, uh, and it says polish grant our dialogue pads. So yeah, you can do this, and and, and dippity dap says hi. So, yeah. And it says, hi, my name is Tippity Dap, and Tippity Dap is kind of like the business. You're planting. Yeah. Okay, so, um, uh, this is the trash bin. Of course. Um, this is the, these are the possibly rotten fish, fish, uh, one, and they cost one pile of air. And it says, who needs to fish when you can buy them? So, yeah. Yeah, we have that. Uh, and we also have the fishing pole free. Poles are great. These are an example. So yeah, yeah. Full of fishing rods and yeah. So um, uh, let's go. So um, have the story info, the Droplantian mine, and the, the random rules wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's go to the Droplantian mine first. And Dang, I'm using a resource pet. Pack, I forgot. Okay, so um, uh, I'll just I'll just get rid of this. Yeah, that's for that's a um, uh, that's for a map that I'm working on. Yeah, I'm making another map. Okay, there you go. Yeah. Um. Okay, so this is the Durplantian mine. Just thought I'd real quickly pass by it real quick. This says, there's nothing good here, and Dope says there's nothing good here anymore, and there's just a bunch of shiny blue rocks, okay? Which are diamonds, of course. And you go back down here. Yeah, I know, it takes a while, because you have to bang your head on these things. And Dupe said, says, guys, I think I found something, and it's not a stupid shiny blue rock. You see, um, uh, these guys value derp as, I ain't sorry, not derp, dirt as a resource, okay? They love it. So, yeah, 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 yeah. And, um, uh, yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, this, on the technical side and restaurants, on, and redstone and command side. This isn't the best uh, map ever. Honestly, it's actually kind of crappy to some people. So, um, uh, so these are the makers. Rules: no breaking blocks unless told to. 
For best experience, please use the Durblantian skin. Please no crafting, well, there's no crafting tables anyways. No placing blocks unless told. Play on medium or hard, please. Wait, let me check. Okay, normal. Okay. Only place door keys on the door hut in the hub. You'll know the one. When you fi find one, they will have writing on them saying it. And uh, also put keep inventory on and put my griefing off. Let us real quickly. Slash game rule. False game rule. Tori, true. Okay, there you go. Um, you also don't have to wear the please don't take off the entire map, okay? Um, this is because, uh, this is because you'll find some helmets that might be better than the please don't take off. Um, these are the accounts. Uh, hey! Jeez, it scared me. Oh, wait, why am I not using my really shaped hoe? There's some, uh, yeah, you, you can pause the video to look at these. Okay. Now, ah, oh, damn. Okay, so, um, story in a nutshell. This is the story of a Durplantium named... Darp. Oh, yeah, he spelled Durplantium wrong. Darp worked at an office building in room 427... Wait, this is the wrong script. Okay, basically, Relic stole... Stole the Inferno Dirt, the thing that powers the suns and stars. It's the hottest thing that exists with... With it, we look at either burn the whole world or turn off the sun. Get back to the... Get back to the Inferno Dirt. Yeah, which is basically the main... Main objective of the, of the game. So, yeah. yeah. This is what Inferno Dirt is supposed to be, and you can see... IOU Wolf by Relic, and yeah. Am I actually making animation based off of this? And, um, uh, that says why you know stay. Whoa! Uh, and the Mr. Pokies actually drop, um, some really good, uh, um, stuff. They're, um, uh, pokers, and they have really far knockback. And yeah, see? And yeah, it says, does a pig play poker with a poker? Of course. And yeah, it says, welcome to, uh, their plantis, and, yeah, I forgot these guys have it, and, um, uh, <clears throat> Wait, what, what happened? Oh, I placed down the string. Yeah. Okay. You found an Easter egg. These either have a little hint or a tail. And yeah, these are actually pretty good. Okay. Now I'm going to be doing a complete. I'm going to be doing a complete. A completionist uh, run, which basically means I get to do every single thing in the map. The force of spoopiness. Yeah. This this part is actually kind of bad. Mainly because it gives you blindness at one point. And it's really easy to die. Yeah, it's kind of hard to um, uh, stay on the trail. Especially with the uh, Mr. Pokies. Okay. Okay. But then you, but you can eventually get to it. Stuff. So yeah. Um. <clears throat> I keep going. Then you get to my one heart. Stuff. You're in mortal danger, and then you die. Oh yeah, that's a that's a weird glitch if I've ever seen one. Okay, and then the problem is they always have to like like go all the way back. Yeah, but don't worry, it's pretty easy because I actually haven't gotten that far. Yeah. So yeah, and actually I'm gonna skip most of the path. It's pretty uh, it's pretty easy. Yeah, and now it's becoming day. Hooray! Yeah, the problem is that the force, that the force of spoopiness, um, yeah, it's, um, no matter what, uh, there will definitely be mobs in there because it's almost completely, uh, unfit. It's almost completely dark there.
Why am I using the the uh poker? The best is um, it's in this area. It's best to try and jump around. Okay, yeah. During this let's play, I'll also give you like little hints on how to beat it easier. So yeah, this place is getting too sp. <sighs> hey. This place is getting too spoopy for me. I need to find a house. So yeah, you save that and then you go and uh. And um, try to find a house, which you'll actually find a house somewhere around here. Yeah, right here, the toy store. Yeah, you close the door behind you, and um, we have Skelly Man, uh, cardboard doll. Actually, I see. Can yeah, no, I can't. Okay, so um, uh, and in here there will be uh, cookies and milk, which uh, these cookies did last me for a while. So yeah, that should be good. It's um, uh, it's a good idea to um, uh, keep some milk for the journey and uh, yeah, and some cookies and stuff. And yeah, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to keep, take some cookies for the road and some milk. So yeah. So then we have um, for better toys, go down into the cellar, which you have to go down into the, into the cellar. So yeah. Which the cellar is awful. Okay, trust me. Because you're in there, there's no way to get out. Okay. But. okay. Yeah, this is the reason why you want to keep the milk around with you. Because there's wicked witches of the weast down here. And yeah. And there's a couple of different things you can do in this situation. You can, uh, well... I'll wait for ah. Okay, so the trick about this one is that you can always go to the right and it, it's always right, okay? So basically remember, right is always right and um uh, Never mind, apparently I took a wrong turn back there. I don't see anything. Oh, geez. Uh, of course. I could swore I left a uh I could swore I left a um uh, spawn point there. Oh well, actually wait, I'll call you design. Okay uh, wait, no not that. Video settings. Okay. Huh. I do have the brightness on bright. Weird. <clears throat> anyway, I just keep going, okay? Then, um, the beginning is actually very, very difficult, okay? Trust me, it's very difficult and kind of hard to get through, so, yeah. Yeah, but don't worry, it gets really easy, um, the farther you go, okay? Or at least it gets much easier. Aw, oh, dang, I cheated. Oh, well, I guess you could count that as, like, a... That, that's kind of like a little cheat thing you can do, um, uh, you can jump over the string that I set up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's also this. Which actually, uh, gives you a bunch of please don't take offs. And in and a story that says in the forest, okay? Now, this is actually about a, um, uh... Now, this tells the story of a legendary creature that lives in uh, the woods of spoopiness. Now, uh, right here it says, They say in these woods is a creature that is alone and mysterious. Is known as Slender. What? His name is like another type of thing? Nah, this is completely different. Anyways, he has never been seen by humans, but has been seen a few times by some Durplantians and some dogs, also a koala. The end. But if you go to the end, uh, it says he's in this forest somewhere. So yeah. I'll grab a few more milks for the road. <clears throat> In sec, let's take a Wait, how much does this melon give you? Only one. Why does a melon slice only give you one? Okay. 
If it was more realistic, it would give you like five or something. Trust me, milk is tasty. Jeez, I hate that part. I really should have put so many spawners down there. Now I'm, uh... Now here's the little thing. Um, uh, I should have put a sign right there uh, that says you are allowed to put on peaceful if you've already been at the uh, the house in the woods of spoopiness. And um, uh, yeah. So um, uh, so yeah, I should have put that there because first off, I think it's kind of hard after you've gone to that to the house in the woods of spoopiness once. It's kind of really hard to actually survive there, so. So, so just remember, if you're, if you see this and you're having a hard time with that part, then, um, uh, and, uh, watch this. <clears throat> and I'm gonna do as I do. Okay? If i on normal. Okay, and uh, you can actually get much better stuff here. Like the action figure grappling hook. Now, I don't know why it's coming all. Um, uh, and we have a concrete board and a cardboard sword. Okay, then. Okay. Actually, I might have been like always going left. Dang it! Ah, oh, jeez. You also get a bucket of battery acid if you're playing this multiplayer and you want to troll your friends. Yeah. Sorry, just real quickly looking at the sun. Some more of the milk. Become happy. Stuff. Yeah, the baking is really, really hard. Just trust me. It's really hard. Then you go by and stuff, and yeah. Okay, I would suggest the beginning for expert players, but I'm a, and I can't even get into the door. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to break one of the rules. No breaking box unless told. Uh, 
but this time I can just go straight in there. Uh, wasn't that thing, um... Dang, I forgot how you... I forgot how you do this one. But I could've sworn you just went right on this area. <laughs> I just got there. One second, one second. I'll go quickly look at this. One sec. One sec, I see. I totally forgot that this button was here. Okay, well, never mind. Okay. You'll never catch me alive, coppers, for I have a button! Okay, there you go. So then, you come across the first boss in this game. Andy, Mr. Frightmare's prize product. And it says, in case you already have a bow, hit the right finger. So you have to hit the right finger. But, um, uh, now, most people would think that it, he me that it means to hit this finger. Um, uh, no, it's actually to hit the middle finger. Yep. Oh yeah, I forgot. He spawns in skeletons. Dang it. Why do I- Why did I never put in spawn points? Here you go, grass. Have a door. Don't worry, the, um, uh, the next map that I'm doing is far better than this one. And um, I'm actually putting a lot of thought into it. It's actually um, a base, it's actually a, um, uh, it's actually kind of like a, a fan-made map about the, uh, it's kind of like a fan map of the Sad Panda map. Uh, Which, um, uh, is actually really good. Trust me, trust me, I actually like it. It's pretty, it's pretty fun and nice. Even though I never played it, but but by looking at YouTubers play, I could tell it was good. Yeah, but I don't understand why is nobody playing this map? It's, I mean, it's a really good map. I mean, trust me, or at least story-wise, okay. And um, c certain commands are actually very hard to do. Stuff like that. Like the story is really good, and the characters are really good. It's just a, it's a. Just the technical stuff that I've never been good at. So, therefore, it doesn't have that much in this um, thing. So, yeah. Whoop. Oops. So now we click that. Okay, there you go. They click it. Or... Second, one second. Ah, okay. Okay, there you go. Now. Why did I never put a spawn point there? Uh, 
starting to sound like a Seattle hat. Or as I like to call them, green beans, because they are literally green beans, okay? They're jerks like green beans, they uh, meaner like green beans, and yeah. And, um, uh, here's actually a little cheat. Um, you can actually, uh, use the buckets to, uh, take away the lava. Yeah. I allow it. I mean, lava doesn't count as a block. So, yeah. Uh... Okay, sorry. So I did this take so long just to get past the first boss, but hey. Uh, whatever happened to my... Dang, it must have broke. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Alright, maybe it did mean the right hand. Okay, I finally got it. Okay, so that teleports you over here. And, um, you hear a bunch of explosions, and that's because, um, uh, explode. So, um, uh, and right here is, has the Atlantis sucks. Okay. This is a little, uh, story. The Atlanteans and Atlanteans used to be friendly neighboring cities. Until, on, until, until one Derplantean thought it was a good idea to put a track on the put attack on the chair of an Atlantean king during a peace meeting. Now the two cities hate each other. It's always a con a constant gang war with the two civilizations. The Derplanteans playing extreme planks on pranks on Atlanteans, the Atlanteans kidnapping Derplanteans to blackmail for money. A lot of each species species wish wish to gain peace one day. So yeah, this is just a that's just a you know quick charming tale. Just to know. As a boat, as a smiley, as a, as a smiley face in the shape of a boat. And what you have to do is you have to follow the glowstone. Yeah. This game is a lot of just following a trail, honestly. But technically, isn't that what a lot of um, uh, adventure maps are? Okay, it's mostly just following a trail and trying to overcome big obstacles in your way. I mean, some might not, but like stuff like Sad Panda and like Hero Brian's Mansion, they're all pretty much the exact same thing. Okay, there's a big path you have to go along, and you have to try and figure out how to how to overcome all the obstacles you find. Now, um, uh, then what happens is that you just step on these pressure plates. And, um, uh, yeah, and, uh, that was an interesting part, but, yeah, it's kind of hard to see it. And, um, uh, you actually go to different places, like the Omega Drill testing. That's an ordinary diamond pick, and the Omega Drill, okay? This one was achieved in just, in just seven seconds. This one is achieved in seven seconds. And you get the Relux Omega Drill, which is actually a pretty nice weapon. Um, not to mention it's also, uh, pretty... Nice uh, drill. Okay, and it says Relux testing base. Yeah, and we'll get the efficient me efficiency. 
not efficient me. Yeah, it has like special potions in there, and uh, it has this thing that suffocates people. Yeah. Yeah, and these turn off the lights. So this is Broken Robot Dungeon. Uh, we have the um, uh, the pie maker, which creates two pies. <clears throat> we have the Extreme Power Command Block, and it says and it has the red dot of death. We have the pizza dispenser. And Spencer's Pizza. Don't worry, it's all pretty easy to uh, get rid of. Yeah. Now, the really hard part is the boss in this. Yeah, I know, you just fought one boss. Find another one. But don't worry, because this one is completely impossible. Trust me, it's really hard to beat. And, just to save time, I am literally just going to go into creative and fly over there. That's real quickly. Okay, now let's go. Believe it or not, um, uh, it's actually, uh, the yeah, my actual thing is just right over here. Now, my um, uh, fun fact is that if you ever come back here with the Omega Drill, um, uh, the Omega Drill is actually allowed to to pick to uh, get rid of hard and play blocks. So I'll give you so I'm um, opening this chest, uh, and it will give you the Laser Blast, which is a which is much better than it's like one of the best bows in the game. Wait, why am I not taking a boat? Okay. Get rid of these stories. Stuff. Now we do this. Okay, there you go. Sorry for that creepy villager voice impression. <laughs> okay, so now we go down here. And, um, yeah, if you watch it in slow motion, you'll see that it, um, it shows both the end and the other one. The thing you can actually do is, um, uh, just snipe them from here, because, um, they're so tall they can't actually get through the door. So yeah, you can do that. So, um, uh, yeah. So, um, uh, yeah, I, I'm just gonna call it good for now, peeps, since it's already gone on for long enough, so, um, uh, yeah, bye peeps.